Hello my friends. I'm going to share with you how I installed temperature sensors inside my fish tanks. And of course I'm trying to do it the cheapest way possible. So I picked this thermometer up. It's an indoor-outdoor thermometer. And it cost just over $12. And what you want is a thermometer that has an outdoor probe. Right here. Okay, this is the sensor. This little thing right here. Okay, this sensor is made to be um, installed outdoors, so it should be pretty weatherproof. And I've been using this in the other tanks, so it works well underwater. Um, the sensor, what I'm going to do is protect it with a piece of uh, uh, PVC pipe. This is a three-quarter inch pipe. I, drill, I already have this drilled with holes. Uh, the top is going to suspend it. The bottom I have holes here and I will put uh, some barrier in there. And you see right in this area there's a bunch of holes drilled. Well the probe is going to set down near the bottom and it'll be vertical this way and these holes are to allow natural convection of the water when it's sitting in the tank so it will give a quicker reading than if this was just blocked uh, uh, the warm water with the tendency to rise will flow up and out through these holes. Okay, now I'm going to assemble this and put it into the tank. This is the protective screen that needs removed. Probe needs to be slid down the length of the tube. And this end has a small hole in it. And this small zip tie fits right through it. So I'm going to use the zip tie through this end and that will secure it in a permanent location at the bottom of the tube. And I'll run a second one across. wasn't one, wanting to cooperate. There's that end. Now that's ready for the tank. Oh, we need to install a double A battery. Seventy-two degrees in here. Okay, here's my bird netting to keep the fish from jumping. And we're going to insert the probe on this side. Using the zip tie. 
I like to have the probe on the side where the water is coming in, that it has maximum water flow. Leave a little bit of slack. It's for stress relief of electrical wire, so you want a little bit of slack where it's joining the probe tube. And the wires are secured. And we'll put this on its side rather than the top so there's no friction from the bird netting frame against the wire. cleaned up. Netting reinstalled. And right there you can see the water temperature in the catfish tank is 63 degrees. This excess wire will be neatly folded up, zip tied and tucked away. That's it. Thanks for watching, my friends.